I have been using as my primary laptop this lovely Surface Laptop 7 for quite a while now, and I do contend that this is probably all around the best laptop that I have ever owned and used. It's a tremendous device. But there's one thing about it that is just a little bit lackluster to me, right? So these devices, when they came out with the new Snapdragon processor, their Copilot Plus PCs, that was the push, Copilot, all the AI stuff. And let me just tell you, the AI stuff is an absolute afterthought, and none of these are more of an afterthought than that Copilot key. Currently what it does, out of the box, you press it, and it opens Copilot. What's really funny to me is, this is a Copilot Plus PC, right? This is a big deal. What does it do? It launches a web app. That's all it is. It's not even a native application. Currently, just a web app. I'm not a big Copilot person, but I do use Google Gemini a fair amount. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to remap that Copilot key. If it's just going to launch a web app, it might as well launch the Gemini web app, the one that I prefer. Here's how you do it. So first, I'll just show you what happens when you press the Copilot key as it currently functions. You can see it opens up. It's relatively quick, but this is absolutely just a web application. And there's nothing like inherently wrong with that. It just seems a little bit sort of flimsy, a little bit kind of silly to me that that's the way that this is unfortunately working. So how do we get this thing mapped to be opening Gemini instead? Well, the first step is that you need to actually install Gemini as a web app. So you're going to go to gemini.google.com and dependent upon your browser, you're either going to see some sort of icon up here or it might be somewhere in your save and share, something like that. You're looking for install page as an app. Click on that, click install, and at that point what you should have is this sort of icon here, which what this is going to do, it could exist there. It'll exist in your start menu. You can pin it to your taskbar, and whenever you click on it, it's gonna be exactly like what you just saw for Copilot, but we need to actually map it now. So make sure you've got a shortcut to this application on your home screen, right click it, and we're going to go into properties, and under shortcut, you can set a shortcut key. What I set mine to was Control alt g Once you've set that shortcut, you can click on Apply or just click on OK. And now you can hit Control alt g or whatever it was that you set, and it's going to launch this shortcut. The next thing you need to download is Microsoft Power Toys. This is something that Microsoft actually makes themselves. Click on Install Power Toys, and it gives you all sorts of additional sort of abilities and things that you can do with your computer. And the thing that we're looking for in Power Toys under Input and Output is Keyboard Manager. Go ahead and turn that on, and we can remap a shortcut here. So your shortcut key, what you're going to do is click on that little pin, and when you hit your Copilot key, you'll see that it is equivalent to the left Windows key, Shift, and an F23 press. And then over here for your other shortcut, you're going to put in the shortcut you just added to the properties of your Gemini icon. Once that's done and you click on OK, when you press that Copilot key, it should launch Gemini. Now, what's cool about this is it is pretty darn fast. I am pressing the key now, and there is that web app opening up. It is just as fast as the actual official AI assistant, but in this case, it's just the one that I prefer. But of course, there's way more that you can do with this. So yeah, right now, I have the Copilot key triggering control Alt G, which does trigger my shortcut to Gemini, but there are other things that you are actually able to do. So you could have a shortcut just like this one to Gemini to any application that you want, any shortcut that you want, you could do it that way, or you can delete this and you can do your own remapping. So let's go back in, we'll do the Copilot key again, but this time instead of sending keys, you can have it run a program, right? Point it directly at an app. You would think you would just do this with that Gem Gemini installed PWA, but it doesn't work that way. There's a reason I showed you the way that I did. It just doesn't seem to work, but you can have it open up a URL. If you want to have Gemini or Copile open up as a tab in your default browser, you can have it do that. There's so much flexibility with this Power Toys application, things that you can actually make this thing do. Now, for me, I'm going to stick with having it launch Gemini inside this little window, just like it would if I hit my icon. But again, you have 
a ton of flexibility, a ton of options with what you want this Copilot key to be doing. I should point out that if you go to personalization and then text input, down here there is an option to customize the Copilot key, but it is pretty limited. You can make it be just a search button, which should just do that. You can also customize it, but customize select an app. Copilot is the only thing that you can actually <laughs> append it to. So there's not a whole lot that you can do with that option. Worth pointing out, but I would recommend installing Power Toys. You can make it do whatever you want. So there you go, guys. Quick, relatively simple way to remap your Copilot key to do whatever you want, even if what you want is the sacrilege of having it launch Gemini. Let me know what you're using your Copilot key for down in the description below. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.